Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over the PS5 Payload Loader Host for 4.03 by Slurs Grovey. I did just release it yesterday, and I know there's been a lot of questions, but we're going to answer the main question that comes up, and that is, will it work for the other firmwares that we are used to using for the Spectre's Host? And the answer to that is no. Currently, it's only going to work for 4.03. Um, it will probably work for the other firmwares later on, but uh, even with that, there's no point of updating. Um, all it is is a dumper. Currently, there is no way to bring it back to the PS5 and play it, so we'll just go ahead with that. But let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Um, if we jump over to Control Executes Twitter here, uh, you can see that he did release another file. The first one he did release was just the eBoot and the modules, but it didn't include the SEE module folder. Um, so this one does, and uh, I will leave a link in the description for that. So basically what happens is this will download, it'll grab the eBoot and all the modules, and then from there you will have to FTP to your PlayStation. Uh, just use Spectre's host and launch the FTP payload. Uh, unless we get a FTP payload for Slurs Grovey's host, but uh, once you do that, then you'll do the exact same thing, jump in to the folder and download the game, and then just combine them all together. Now this doesn't fix the issue that we had with uh, language packs, so if you're familiar with uh, trying to FTP to your PS5 and download the game, it would just stop at a language pack or a file that it can't get. Um, it doesn't fix that issue, so there's no real uh, workaround for that right now. But uh, games that you do know that you can download, this will work. You can be able to combine them. And uh, other than that there, there's no way to install it and play it. But uh, it's certainly a way to get it backed up. Uh, other than the payload bin file, we will need the SOCAT. And I will leave a link in the description for this. You can go ahead and download it. But once you do get that all downloaded, um, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the PS5 and get into the jailbreak process. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS5, I will show you that I am on 4.03. We'll jump over to our settings, go into System, System Software and Console Information. So you can see that I am running 04.03. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. Uh, the game we'll be using will be the Call of Duty Cold War, and I believe it's version 1.025. Yep, and uh, so we'll go ahead and back out of there and go ahead and launch the game. Now it does dump the eBoot and the modules for both the game and the update. So once we do have it loading, uh, we can go ahead and just hold in our PlayStation button and we'll jump over to our browser. Now if you don't have the browser set up, I will leave a link in the description with a tutorial showing you how to uh, get the browser set up. So we'll go ahead and launch it does come up with Lethal's PS5 browser version 1.2. Uh, we're going to go ahead to the Echo Stretch host. And we'll jump down to Slur Groby's Jailbreak version 2. Okay, so his site does come up, and as you can see, it does say uh, it's only good for 4.03. The other firmwares are not supported. It may take up to 20 seconds. Um, with the tests I've done, it's usually within 10. I've never seen it go up to 20. Um, it does say that does it fails, and you do get kernel panics. You have to restart your PlayStation sometimes. Um, it says that you may have to try it 10 times. And of all the times I've tried, it's usually out of every three, it might crash once. So it's pretty good. It's so we'll go ahead and launch it. Okay, you may get a not enough memory error. Just go ahead and hit OK. What I'd like to do there is just back out of there and just relaunch everything all over again. I find that the, if you get start getting the memory error, it'll just keep on coming. So go ahead and launch it, and we'll come in here. Go ahead and select it. Okay, we'll do the same thing again. And we'll jump down, and then we'll go ahead and select it. Okay, so we'll give it a few moments here. 
maybe 10 seconds and it should come up with a message waiting for payloads. Okay, there we go, waiting for payloads. So once that is done, that is all we need to do on the PS5. We can go ahead and jump back over to, to the computer. There'll be no messages displayed on the PS5, so no need to uh, to worry about waiting for a message to pop up. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we just need to jump in our SOCAT folder. Uh, we'll go ahead and type in CMD just to bring up a command prompt. And we want to make sure that it's in that current folder. Now I've already copied over the payload.bin into this folder. And I have a list of commands here that we can use. I will leave them in the description. But our first command is to send the payload over. Uh, as you can see, the payload is specified here. And then the IP address for our PlayStation 5, as well as the port. We'll be using 9019. So we'll go ahead and select that and hit Control-C. And then we'll control V for paste and go ahead and hit enter. Now that's all we'll get. Uh, no messages on the PS5. Uh, just jumps over to the cursor again. So we can jump onto our second command, which will create the file, the ra.tar. As you can see here, the IP address is listed here. But this time we'll be using the port 9023. So we'll go ahead and select that, control C and then control V and then go ahead and hit enter and as you can see it will start now depending on the game um, it may take a little bit of time it's going to grab all those files and build an archive for you um, it should already start and there it is there as you can see it's zero right now but uh, yeah as, as it goes it will get uh, bigger but we're going to let that go and once it's done we'll be back okay so we ended up finishing um, did run into a few problems here and I'll explain it. Uh, I don't know if it's the game or the games I was using because I tried multiple games. Um, so this was the original file that uh, Control Execute gave us. It was just uh, to dump the eBoot and the modules. The second file he gave us included the SCE module folder. So I've tried this here, payload.bin, with a few different games um, and a few different times and it always came with the same thing. It would crash either at the start of it or in the middle of it and just turn off the PlayStation 5. So what I did was uh, I went back to the original and I said well I'll give that a try and see what happens. Um, so I gave it a try, worked flawless, no issues at all. I don't know if there's a issue between the two of them or if it's just the games I'm using. I've only tried this particular one on the one game so I'll do further more testing, but I just want to jump on and show you guys a video of it, and hopefully you can give it a try, and uh, we'll see what happens, because hopefully what I'm looking for is eventually we'll have a payload that will just dump the whole game via uh, USB, rather than do anything like this. So we'll go ahead and minimize this. Uh, the original RA that I had with the SE did come with the SE module. It did. Ha I don't know if the file is complete or not. Um, it might be, it might not be, but that's as far as I got. The tar file was corrupted, so there's a good chance that it's not even complete. So I'm going to give it another try and see if I can get it. But uh, yeah, we'll jump into the, the one with the uh, just the eBoot and the module. So you can see that we have the mount folder, uh, sandbox, PFS mount, and then we have our app and patch. So if we jump in the app, we have our eBoot, and we have our sys, so we jump into our boat, and we have our write. So there's not very many uh, modules in here. It's kind of looking empty. I would think that there'd be a lot more in the SCE folder, but uh, further testing, we'll see. I never tried FTP into the uh, PS5 just to have a look to see see what exactly is in there. Um, the patch is the same thing, it just has the eBoot. And if we jump in the boat here, we have the write. So these would be the files um, that you would add to your dump so if you go ahead and I know there's uh, payloads out there that we can use with specters um, that we can go ahead and dump the game um, then you would just add over these eBoots because these ones are these are decrypted the eBoot and the modules so you would add them to it but currently right now without having the uh, the SCE module folder then it's still incomplete so that's what I'm trying to do is try to get the other payload the newest payload to work to dump it but uh, yeah, guys, I just want to jump on, show you 
show you how to get it set up. If you want to give it a try, uh, certainly let me know in the comments below uh, any issues that you have. I will leave a link for both downloads so you can go ahead and try just the eBoot and the module and then you can go ahead and try the SCE module um, folder added onto the eBoot and the rest of it. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps with the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.